Hello, and welcome to a family-owned dairy farm, the place where these beautiful female bovines spend their days feasting on an endless supply of a well-manicured diet, all while being chaperoned by their farmer friends who both are proud to share with you the fruit of their labor, 97% fat-free whole milk. We'll be discussing that more in the next video. So for now, let's get to the rear end of this intro. You want to know why in the world I stuck my arm up a cow's butt, right? Well, there you go. I got to stick my hand up a cow's butt. <laughs> exactly what I came here to do. You just like fly under back. On this episode of Once a Stranger, a series where I explore human connection all through the power of a simple hello, I spend the day with Dr. Katherine Claxton, a mixed animal veterinarian, and follow her along for what's called a her check and share with you why the rear end of a cow is used when performing the checkup. Hi, I'm Dr. Katherine Claxton. I'm a mixed animal veterinarian, so that means I do large animal work, including cows, pigs, sheep, and goats. And then we also do small animal work, which is cats, dogs, bunnies, and some other animals. And today we are doing herd checks, where we're going around to my different farms um, that I visit either once or twice a month, and we do pregnancy checks on the cows, as well as address any sick animals, and just kind of do a whole herd health plan for each place that we go to. What you see Catherine performing is called a rectal palpation. By going into the rectum of the cow, she is able to feel the uterus to determine whether or not the cow is pregnant, as well as address any abnormalities. But modern technology allows her to see the baby calf instead of having to feel for it. So this is um, an ultrasound with goggles, they call it. You use an ultrasound probe just like you would with a human, but the image, instead of being on a screen, shows up inside of the goggles. So I wear the goggles on top of my head, and it's virtually hands-free, so that way I can be climbing over fences and other things while I'm able to still preg check, um, and I don't have to cart around a big computer with me. The advantages of an ultrasound also helps Catherine understand the general well-being of both the mother and baby at an earlier stage, giving her and the farmer time to address any issues before birth. Oh my gosh, it stood up. A two hour old calf just stood up. Can they stand up right away? Holy cow. Tell us what you do here on the farm. Sometimes I go at Grandpa's to the mixer, and when Grandpa comes back, I come and so you're on the drive mix? the tractor. Oh, ah, what? Steer it. So you drive the tractor and the mixer? And then you told me that you also water the cows? Yep. You keep all their water clean? So what do you like to do for fun? Ah, there we go. That's a lot of fun. Cool. And what is your job here on the farm? Get water and scrape. While filming this episode, I couldn't help but notice all of the children taking responsibilities that you would imagine being done by grown adults. It was the same story she, with the other cow. She lost, she had a calf one time, last time we checked her, she had lost it. Oh, so went to see to where she's at. From keeping the drinking water clean to organizing which cows needed Catherine's attention, these children are just as important as their parents in maintaining order on the farm. To them, this is one big playground, and their sense of pride was really something incredible to witness. All right, Isaiah, what is a herd check? Um, it's helping the cows when they have tricks and when they're sick and butt. Ah, okay. Speaking of butt, it is now time for me to perform my first rectal palpation. As I gear up for this, I'd like to know, how many of you watching have ever done this before or learned something new today? Comment below and let me know. During my three week stay here in Pennsylvania, I've really gained a new respect for the farming community 
and I hope you have too. Well, that keeps your hand nice and wet. You grab with their, this hand on the tail. Yep. Okay, lift it up in the air a little bit, and you go right in there. Yep. All right, yep, here we go. <laughs> everybody. Lots of food. Stuck in my... <laughs> well, there you go. I got to stick my hand up the cow's butt. <laughs> exactly what I came here to do. And I feel like she's going to come at me. <laughs> she doesn't care. She just has to fly in her back. <laughs> in case you missed it, Catherine mentioned that it feels like nothing more than a fly on their back. So I decided to give it a few more goes. There you go. <laughs> Just to make sure I left feeling like a pro at this. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is a rectal palpation. Mm -hmm. And that's what it looks like once you're done. <laughs> High five it. Here. All right, what'd you think, Isaiah? What'd you think? It looks funny. <laughs> Catherine, thank you so much no problem. for uh, spending some time with me. And remember, all this started with a simple hello. And now we both got to learn something new about what it's like being a veterinarian on a farm. <laughs> See you later.